<laughs> so, all right. Are you ready? Okay. So to get us going, to get us started, we want to bring all our hearts together as one. We have so many that are here in spirit to lend their helping hand, to be a part of this energy, and we want to make sure that they are all here and welcome, all in the highest and best good. So one of the things, we just, I just listened to this a couple nights ago, it's bringing the energy up from the earth and then bringing the energy of creation down. And I was doing that with my grandchildren the other morning as we were walking. And it was powerful. And they felt it. I felt it. So I'd like to do that with you guys if you're interested. And you can just stand up if you want. Stay seated. However you choose to do. But what it is, is putting your hands out. And then imagine the energy of the earth coming up and meeting your hands. If you're sensitive to energy, many of you will feel that. As that energy builds in the earth and it comes up and it meets your hands. And as it does, draw your hands up. Bring them up your body. Almost at the shoulders, flip them around. Now receive the energy of creation, the energy of your soul. And then bring that down through your body. All the way down to about your waist. And then come out again with the energy of the earth. And then my intention with this is we bring all of us together, knitting all hearts. And bring it down. With this next one, take a, I'll get everybody back down to the ground. When everybody gets back down to the ground, take a deep breath in. Bringing the energies of the earth up. And then all. Did you release? Sorry. <laughs> Nobody's turning blue, are they? <laughs> Take another deep breath in. And release as you bring the energy zone through your body. There you go. Very nice. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Oh, well, it's very cool. You may sit down. It reminds me of Tai Chi. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, kind of like that. I'm sure that's probably where it came from. <laughs> okay. We are the elders three here in service to each, to each and every one of you. We bring you light, love, and peace. We'd like for each one of you, because now is a crazy time. The energies are flowing and moving and some of you are not sleeping and some of you are worried and there's fear and all this stuff. 
right here. We would like for you to dump it. Let your worries flow out right here in this circle on the floor. Let your fear flow out right on the circle on the floor. <coughs> if you wish, you can pick it up on the way back out. But at this moment in time, let it go. Let it come into this circle on the floor. In this moment of time, no worries. Only the peace, the love, and the light. And those of you who don't like peace, love, and light, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is as it is here today. So as the elders three, we work with each of you. This is not just a channel that comes just to Brenda. It comes whenever you wish, whenever you call. We're there. They have many people who call upon the elders three and they help. We come in, we do what we can. We hold the space, we hold the presence for you to do what you need to do. And this may be one of the last channels that we do with Brenda, the Elders Three. Because Brenda's soul is even more incorporated and we are Brenda's soul. And we are everything that she's ever been also. But we are not going to be channeling as the Elders Three. It's going to be a channel as Mariah. Your soul does not need a name. It's our humanness that needs the name. But Brenda's soul received the name of Mariah. It's the energy of that name. Just so you know. And with that, we are going to move on. We wish you great love, great light, and great peace. It is a time that you need to bring out your light. It's a time you need to bring out your love and your peace. When you see something that is not, hmm, that is irritating you, that is driving you insane, send us your presence. Send it who you are, that love, that light, that peace. Send it that. And with that, namaste. Okay. So that is the last, probably, you know, they'll probably come back. But <laughs> so I have been working, that's why we haven't had, one of the reasons we haven't had a lot of stuff going on here. I have been working on incorporating my soul even more fully within my body. In that, Mariah, I knew of the name Mariah back, I don't know, 2010, somewhere in there, as the name of my soul, because I had to have a name back then, and so I just carried it forward. But, um, so the Mariah, when I was driving here this morning, I did a channel with Mariah. That's why I went to the tape, because I couldn't remember what it was. And it was so peaceful, and it was so calm, and it was so beautiful. And when people text me or they call and I'm not able to answer, they will text me back or call later and say, thank you, I feel better. Thank you. Well, I didn't do it as a human. As a soul, I did. As a soul, I worked on them. As a soul, I help their soul take care of the problem, take care of whatever was um, causing them discontent. And it's something that everybody can do. And it's one of the things that we're going to do today is bringing the soul even more fully into the body. When you bring your soul even more fully into the body, your intuition increases. Your knowingness increases. The who you are increases. The aura around you increases hugely. Yeah. 
so that is one of the things we're going to do after we do a cleaning up the body a little bit. And then, um, okay, lost my train of thought. Where are we going? I didn't mean to scare you away. <laughs> so one of the first things we're going to do was brought in by Metatron here. I don't know. Do you remember, Brian? No. That was last year. <laughs> yeah. Metatron's brought in a lot of healing modalities in the last year. So this is one of the ones that he's brought in. I think I've done it with the group that we had last time in here. And it's called, he brought it in with the name of 3x3. Three three. Metatron, it comes from Metatron's Cube. Um, it first started as, I don't remember what it first started as. It first started with the Metatron's Cube on the floor, and then there were three, um, Metatron, Thoth, and I would be around the circle. And then somebody would step in that circle and all these sacred geometries would come up through their body. And these were geometries that were not even known to us here. These were geometries coming from the cosmos that were coming up through people's bodies and doing healings and et cetera. And so that was amazing. Then it stepped up to the three by three. In the three by three, in the first triangle, it's just 2D. Because I don't think we can wrap our minds around the whole 5D. If you can, use it. But with the three by three, it's a triangle. And you have, like, you could be here. And then I usually put me here somewhere in this triangle. And then I think today we'll have Brian right here. So that Brian and I are holding the space for each one of you that want to be in a corner. And then overlaying that is going to be another triangle. And that is going to be Metatron. Thoth is usually there. And um, Michael, Archangel Michael. That's who wants to be there now. You guys, when you use this, it can be whoever you choose that you want to use in these triangles. The next one is the triangle of magic that I use. And it has the dragons, the fairies, and the elementals. And that is in the next triangle. The next triangle, I do a cosmos, so I'm doing four, right? Three by three, but we're going to do four. And the next one is the cosmos. It's the galactic council. It's the great, bright, or the great white brotherhood. And the other one's the council of 12 for this group. So when we get there and we go to do this, put yourself in one corner. Imagine all of these set in. When they activate, this morning when they activated, I was working on a, a mama and her baby. This morning when they activated, everybody was in the light. It used to be the light was in the center of everybody. This morning it just expanded. It was huge and this light came up and everybody was in it. And it cleans and clears. It releases old programs and beliefs. It does whatever you need. Your soul is the one that's guiding it. You are not. As the human being, step in it and just be. Step in it and just let it do its thing. Feel the light running through you. Don't try to guide it because your soul knows best. Your soul is the one that can see everything. Much better than we can as the human. Okay? So, there you are. That's what's happening. That chair's empty. If you would like it. I think you're the only one standing. Well, I guess Cheryl's standing. You're all right? Cheryl, you're standing? Get over there. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot you were standing. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So if everybody just take a deep breath in. We're just going to bring us into center again. And release. And take another deep breath in. And release. And do a third deep breath in. And release. Now imagine in the center of this group that you have the triangle and you step into one corner. 
I'll step in another corner and Brian will step in another corner. This is multi-dimensional. Don't worry, you're going to butt anybody out of the corner. Just step in a corner. And then overlaying that is going to be Metatron, Thoth, Archangel Michael. Over that, the magic of the dragons, the fairies, and the elementals. And over that, the galactic, the galactic council, the great white brotherhood, and the council of 12. And as you stand there, as these all come together, the light goes through, and it comes up, and it washes through your body. And just feel, just be, Try to let go of any thoughts. Just be in the moment. Allowing that light to flow through you. As it comes, takes stuff out of you, as it takes out things that no longer serve you, energies that no longer serve you. I see them coming out as liquid silver and going into the light and transmuting, changing, becoming something much more. And as that happens, then light goes into the places where all that dense energy was, bringing you comfort, ease, peace. This flows through all your cells, in between all your cells, into your DNA bringing your body even more into the light body bringing even more light into every cell light as long as you choose and you can come back into this room being in this light and the light flows and it moves and when you're ready come back in Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Take a deep breath in, releasing anything that may not have gotten released. <sighs> Very nice. Okay, so from there, Brian is going to do a meditation and activation of the soul. And I'm going to go back here. have all that light that we are that is in that physical heart that sacred space the heart that is where we as the human anchor in all that light so as we are in that heart space we're going to go to where the source of this light is source creator god central sun however you see and say that this is the place of your original soul spark we're going to go to that soul spark for each and every one of you. 
and that's going to be brought down through all that you are, all your incarnations, all that you are, all the way to the human, and it's going to go beyond in this golden column of light that circles from source through you is going to circle right back up to source again. And that just plugs right into source. And as that plugs in, you, source, soul, are all indistinguishable from each other. You are that golden light, or however that presents to you. Your light, that is source, soul, and you, we're going to take that light back down into that physical heart, the sacred space of the heart. And as we bring that light, we just fill in that heart. And we found like this basement floor to that physical heart. We're going to use your light to dissolve that floor. And as you dissolve that floor and you drop down into that pit within the physical heart, all you're doing is you're bringing your light to anything down there that no longer serves. Anything dark and sticky, cords, contracts, beliefs. You're just shining your light and letting it flow through there. And a lot of times people will find really protected areas, let's say. A lot of people, it appears as like a little closed door or maybe a shield or something like that that's in that basement of the heart. You're just letting your light shine and that just opens that up for all that to be released that no longer serves you. Now your light fully embodies your heart. So that is where you find all that you are is within that physical heart. That is where your light anchors into the human. And all that you are walks with you right there. And for some people, if you feel you did not make that complete circle, the path has been made. Even if you feel like you did not maybe plug into that all the way, the pathway is set. And when it is appropriate for you, that whole thing will occur. But you're still brought in your complete light there. And so we all made it through the process. Right, so then you can bring that back here into the physical and you can just open your eyes and you can be all that you are. And if you notice when you open your eyes, things might seem brighter, clearer. It's because we're seeing like all that we are through our eyes. How are we doing? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all righty. Yay. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> what happened to you? I shut my eyes and as he was talking, what I saw was, Brian, Brian, I thought Brian was standing there. And his hands were lifted high in the air and he was bringing down this wall of white energy if he spread it out. He was in a, a forest clearing. And as he did that, I saw people being healed, and then he lifted the ball, and they went back and took this negative energy out and dispersed it somewhere. And then what I saw was a past from some Egyptian pyramid with people who were Nice. Very awesome. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. That's a very great visual, too. Mm -hmm. I can follow that. I was married to a medium. Were you? <laughs> so you know. <laughs> Very cool. 
So with your soul becoming more fully embodied, you, it's something, is it, you need to work at. <laughs> and I shouldn't say the word work. But recognize it. Recognize your soul being more fully embodied within your heart, within your body. Use that light of your soul to heal yourself. Use that light of soul. And you can heal yourself on any level. In fact, if you do it in a multi-dimensional way of saying um, on all through all time, space, and dimensions, you can heal every part of you. When you made that hoop and you brought that soul in more fully, that is everything you've ever been. With me, it is the elders three. It is, um, I was trying to think all the other things I've been. <laughs> it's talk. It's that little girl I sent home one time. She was a wayward. Well, that was me. <laughs> she turned around and looked at me. It's like, oh, <laughs> hi, <laughs> there I am. I mean, it is everything you've ever been on this earth, on other planets, out there in the galaxy, everything. Can you think of how much information, how much power you have within your heart now? That is your soul that is there for you. Just tap into it. And you're going to tap into it in your own way. I can't tell you how to tap into it because it is your journey. It is your, you do it. You'll find your way to tap into it. You can feel the energy of what you just felt. Follow that energy. Let your soul tell you how to tap into it. So from there, let's see, where are we going? Let's do, let's see, I'll do my Mariah. Marati. <clears throat> so as Mariah, I am. I am everything I have ever been as a human. I am. I am you also. And you. And you. But I am also an individual. I am me. Here on this earth, I am a way shower. I am a Hmm. We don't want to use the word healer. We like the word way shower. I show you how to bring your own healing into your world. And from there, when you have healed yourself, when you are good with yourself, then you heal others. Or you watch them being healed. You become a watcher, a way shower, any of those, or whatever it is that you are called to be. We are not all the same. Thank goodness. We each have our own light. We each have our own talents that we have brought. And each one of us is needed. Each one of us needs to stop hiding and start coming out, start talking, start doing your thing your way, not the way somebody else wants you to do it, your way, the way your soul is moving you. With the incorporations of the soul, you become an embodied human. You become a human with the soul functioning at an even greater level. When you first came here, a spark of the soul come to the body. It was a spark. It's like the spark of God. As you bring more and more of your soul into your body, then you bring in everything that you are. You bring all, all that light from the cosmos. And you're such a shining light, each and every one of you. 
Go home when you go home. Look in the mirror. Look in your eyes. What do you see in those eyes? You're going to find amazing things within your eyes. Check it out. Feel it. Look at the energy around you. As you close your eyes, feel the energy around you. How does it feel? Light? Magnificent? This energy around you that is you. It's amazing. It's bright. It's beautiful. Bring it into you even more fully and expand it out. See how far out you can go with your light. Don't live in fear. You are the most powerful being there is as a human embodied. You have the power of your light as the human. There is no fear. You have no room for it. Release it and let it go. When you hold the negative, when you hold the worry and you hold the <sighs> discontent, then there isn't room for the light to shine even more. So it's really important as you go through your day, as you go through your life, to release anything that comes up that feels like a block or feels yucky, things from the past, things from wherever. Let it go. We are at this time clearing not only this lifetime on this earth, at this time you are cleaning lifetimes. You are cleaning and clearing all lifetimes on this earth. Big job you came to do, but big job that needs to be done to clean and clear. And the only thing you have to do to clean and clear, take a deep breath and let it go. Send your light, your presence into that deep breath. Send your light and your presence into things in the world that are causing chaos that come to your attention. Don't go looking for them. If they want you to work on it, they'll bring it to you. You'll be able to see it. You'll catch a thing on the news somewhere or somebody will tell you a story. Send your, send your light there. Send your presence there, who you are. And then that's it. You're not going there as the human to do something. You're going there as the soul to be there so that the highest and best good happens there, wherever it may be. And with that, we thank everybody for being here. It has, energy has been building with Brenda for <coughs> four days. And she was sick this morning. <laughs> things are changing. Things are moving. And we thank each and every one of you for being here. And we're going to have some questions. And anybody wants to speak, I think Cheryl wants to have some stuff to say, we're going to do that too. So there we are. Thank you.